Human trafficking is a worldwide problem. This crime of modern-day slavery has many faces. Pasha lives in Afghanistan. He was 10 years old when his family stopped him from going to school and put him to work in a brick kiln. His family had borrowed money from the owner of the kiln to pay for care when his father was sick. However, the money couldn't be paid back because of the exorbitant interest charged. Pasha, his siblings, and his father have worked 12-hour days hauling dirt. He and his siblings will inherit the family debt if it cannot be paid off. In a small village in the Philippines, Jasmine and a dozen other girls were approached by a woman named Mariel and promised a job in an internet cafe in Manila. When the group set out for Manila, they were stopped at the port by a security guard who was suspicious. When Mariel failed to produce identification and work documents for the girls, Mariel was arrested. It was uncovered that Mariel had planned to force the girls to work as prostitutes. There had never been an internet cafe. The girls were very lucky that a security guard was alert and watchful on the day they arrived at port. Lily was from a small town in Mexico. She happily accepted a job at a local dry cleaning business because the owners also offered her a place to stay. It didn't take long before the owners accused her of stealing from them and withheld her pay. The ironing station became her personal prison and she was given very little water and only one small meal a day. She was physically abused if she stopped working. After almost two years, Lily finally escaped and talked to the police. The dry cleaning business was raided based on her report. In the United States, Amy grew up with an alcoholic and drug-addicted dad. He began abusing her physically and sexually at the age of 12. She left home at 17 to get away from her dad and was able to stay with a friend, Lisa. Her friend introduced Amy to a man who could help her become a model. But her dream career of modeling actually resulted in something much more sinister. Instead of modeling, the man forced her into prostitution. She was locked in a hotel room and given very little to eat. Her earnings were confiscated, and she was threatened with death if she left. Eventually, Amy was able to get away. She now desires to help others and hopes to become a certified nursing assistant. These victims' stories are true. They are only a few of the many faces of human trafficking.